James here. Welcome back to Beyond Lifting. Today we're going to be watching all of my training videos from the follow from the past week. Not all of them. I didn't include Saturday as usual. I just I, I can't get a decent camera placement on Saturdays with how the workout is um, structured. So the training just cannot be filmed. It is unfilmable on Saturdays. Uh, we're starting with Monday and it's squats and I was feeling brilliant, so good. I'm really starting to feel as though the increased calorie intake is helping out and uh, yeah I was just super happy with my sort of energy levels uh, during the Monday's training session. Um, all week really I've been feeling a lot better. Unfortunately, I went into the gym on Friday and I just don't know, it wasn't there, it wasn't there. And on Saturday, Saturdays are usually just so exhausting, I just wake up and I can't be bothered. And this was the best, worst Saturday in a while. Like, I felt crap, but nowhere near as hellish as previous um, Saturday training. So that was good. Looking at the bench, I'm starting to think that maybe I'll um, start practicing with flat foot because that's uh, my competition rules. And so you saw there that I, when I was pushing that up, the left side lent all the way. I don't know what was going on, but I felt bloody good to get 70 kilos. I gotta say. Anyway, yeah. So thinking about sort of changing up the form and bench. Um, I don't know when to do it though because every every uh, bench session is sort of heavy except for touch and go I suppose I, I, I suppose I could implement it there um, it's just changing up form is never fun is it with the overhead press I was really happy to get um, five sets out of it so uh, it's the, some of the most I've, I've got out of um, overhead press deadlifts and I was over the moon with this 131 kilos and I got it for four reps keeping on the four rep train the choo choo train of four reps a choo 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 that was four chews representing a rep each I would do it five times but that's lame you don't want to listen to a video of me saying choo 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 five times um, yeah so happy with Wednesday. Wednesday was another day where I was feeling good. Uh, I've just bought some Olympic lifting shoes. So I'm going to be wearing, you, you see I'm wearing the Vibrams here. I'm going to keep wearing them for deadlifts because they're a brilliant fat foot, flat foot shoe, um, which is perfect for deadlifts. Probably keep on wearing them for bench, but I'm going to switch over to the Olympic lifting shoe for the um, the squats obviously for the hill and you know front squats overhead press probably I'll, I'll wear the Olympic lifting shoe just uh, I'll try it out see where it feels good I, I think it's going to help a lot though with my ankle dorsiflexion and the fact that my knees keep caving in all the time so hopefully that will be a new journey in which I will get stronger. Uh, here, three count paused. Glad to get three reps. The lowest you can get out of this on my program is three. And I've been getting three for a while, but as long as it goes up and I keep getting three, I'm not bothered. Now we're talking about front squats, I guess. And they suck, am I right? Like, I always come away from front squats and it'll get to about Monday and the bruises will start you know he healing properly and it, my collarbone won't hurt as much and i'll have the monday and the tuesday feeling all, all right and then i'll come back in on the wednesday and just do it all over again like i i don't know what it is i well I, i'm assuming it's the fact that i don't have enough chest muscle to be honest um my knees are doing the same dance as they always do. Like I said before though, hopefully these Olympic lifting shoes that arrived yesterday will help. Unfortunately, they did not arrive in time 
for the Friday training, but never mind. Um, slip down to four reps here. So this is what I was sort of talking about when I was saying how Friday just didn't feel good. It was more like definitely on squats. I just didn't have it. Uh, I got, I was doing 105, and that first rep, I, I remember the feeling of that first rep, and it was surprising to me just how bad it felt. The second rep, you can see there, already looking like a grinder. And I, in my head, I was convinced I was going to get uh, five reps out of it. But after this third rep, I sort of I stopped, took a breath in, thought I'm going to do another one. And uh, I got the fourth rep, and then I, I knew definitely not going to be able to get uh, a fifth, which sucked. But, you know, four is better than zero. And Monday, I'm going to go into the gym. And I'm going to try and nail five. Because I'm not happy being back on uh, four reps with this. So what do you think of my bench press form? Like, in general, you can see uh, I'm, like, contorted in a crazy way. And I'm locking up my legs a lot more, feeling as though I'm getting more drive out of them. And my back is quite arched, but I just I just feel as though maybe having your feet almost behind your shoulders isn't what you're supposed to be doing. I, I'm not sure, but I, 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 I don't want to experiment too much. I don't want to be one of those people who's always changing up their form. Admittedly, I barely ever change up my form. Last time I did anything was I went to low bar squat. Um, rather than high bar just because I realised I was leaning forward too much to be able to do high bar and low bar helped a lot but it, I think it's worth some experimentation on the bench press see what, see what helps here I'm doing um, close grip 50 kilos and that's good for me being back up to 50 getting 9 reps out of it and 5 sets of it so that's really awesome and after this I did some glute ham raises Punches and bunches, punches is thrown until you're frontless.